Crunch. Junk City's finest. What do Cap'n Crunch and Cheetos have in common? Why, fast food, of course. Here are 10 weird fast food creations that were shockingly good. Kentucky Fried Chicken and Donuts? Donut food! Refined sugar! Trans fats! The Colonel's no stranger to inventing new and outlandish fast food items. Don't believe us? Take a long, hard look at the Double Down. For those who love something a little salty with their breakfast pastry, the KFC Donut Sandwich has you covered. It's a tender piece of the Colonel's crispy chicken nestled in between two halves of a classic glazed donut. It seemed as though KFC was trying to invoke a bit of that chicken and waffles magic. Apparently, that magic isn't restricted to only waffles because it was an instant success. KFC only chose to roll this sandwich out in a few select areas, but that scope was increased to meet the sizable demand for the product. Product. Videos online showed that this sandwich wasn't for the faint of heart as the glaze made for messy eating. But true soldiers in the Colonel's Army don't mind having to keep a napkin handy. But alas, like all good things, it had to end sometime. It was three years ago that the sandwich made its debut, and word is that once again, KFC plans to roll it out in a handful of locations for a limited time. So be ready. Burger King's Chicken Fries exchange for setting a scene here in Burger King. This may seem strange to our younger viewers, but there was a time when BK's chicken fries only existed on a limited edition menu. Burger King unveiled their chicken fries in 2014, announcing that they would only be around for a short while. Well, it's almost 10 years later, and chicken fries remain a staple on the Burger King menu. In the early 90s, there was an all-out fast food chicken war. It became customary for most fast food restaurants to offer some form of chicken on their menus. And most often, this came in the form of chicken nuggets. Nuggets. McDonald's and Wendy's already had a firm grip on the nugget market, with most people saying that Burger Kings tend to be a bit lackluster. Explains it. However, in the early 2010s, Burger King decided that if they couldn't replicate what other chains were already doing, they would go their own way. That's exactly what they did. Choosing to give up the boring nugget shape, Burger King elected to serve them in thin strips called fries. Customers, and especially kids, loved them. They disappeared from menus for a while, but fans were not content to let this rest. They called for their return multiple times, and multiple times Burger King obliged. It wasn't until years later that someone higher up had the wherewithal to make them a permanent fixture, and it's all thanks to BK fans like you. Little Caesar's Pretzel Crust Pizza Little Caesar, Pizza Pizza what was once lost is just now returned in the form of the pretzel crust pizza. This strange little pizza made its first appearance in 2019 to mixed reviews. Some people loved it and others hated it. This is a pepperoni pizza made with the same cheese and sausage that you're used to, but that's where the similarities end. The crust of the pizza is constructed from pretzel dough and served with a healthy dose of salt. Instead of tomato sauce, we get nacho cheese. This pizza will not please everyone, but for those that do Ooh. enjoy it, watch out, because this pizza can be addicting. Even if a pretzel crust pizza with nacho cheese for the sauce isn't your type of thing, you have to applaud the ingenuity that goes behind a creation like this. Little Caesars is no stranger to branching out from the ordinary, and after retiring this pizza back in 2019, they're back for more. For a limited run in 2023, the Pretzel Crust Pizza is back. This time around, the folks at Little Caesars are truly losing it because they're offering a stuffed crust version of the pizza. If this sounds like your type of feast, then grab one quickly before they're gone again. First time here? Well, then become an official Babble Topper by taking a quick second to hit that subscribe button. Now, more fast food oddities. Nacho fries. I see you like nachos. So do I. What a coincidence. Taco Bell is a titan in the fast food industry. What the bell does, it does perfectly. So why would this restaurant, planted firmly in its lane, decide to start making french fries? That was the burning question on consumers' minds when Taco Bell launched their nacho fries in 2018. It's just fries with cheese was a common refrain. That was until people tried them. It turned out that Taco Bell actually made a pretty good fry. The nacho cheese wasn't exactly unwelcome either. And that's how they get more and more of the city bit by bit year after year.
The true magic came in the spice. Taco Bell chose a certain spice blend that gave these fries a taste unlike any other. Taco Bell leaned into this, and every time they choose to re-release the fries, they spend a significant sum on their marketing budget to increase awareness. It's a practice that's unnecessary, but appreciated. So rest assured that whenever Nacho Fries grace Taco Bell menus again, you'll hear about it. Taco Bell's Cap'n Crunch Delights because that son of a has been spreading lies. My cereal does not cut the roof of your mouth. There's one thing that Taco Bell hasn't consistently served, and that's breakfast. In the late 2010s, Taco Bell decided they would try their hand at making some compelling breakfast items. This included the breakfast crunch wrap, the waffle taco, and these Cap'n Crunch delights. Among the three, the crunch wrap was arguably the most popular, as it continually makes a reappearance on the menu. But the sugary morsels made with Cap'n Crunch were an honorable mention. They were soft pastries filled with cream and glaze, and topped with little crumbled bits of Cap'n Crunch cereal. While these little treats were an instant favorite, due to increased demand, Taco Bell had a lot of issues with distribution. As a result, awareness and desire for the product dwindled before being nixed from the menu altogether. It's not every day that one of our favorite fast food chains teams up with one of our cereals, but we'd like to thank Taco Bell for making the practice that much more common. BK's Mac and Cheetos I like it. Good. This strange fast food creation is the result of a love affair between fried mac and cheese and a favorite American snack, Cheetos. The name of this item should give you an indication of what you're in for when you place your order. They're gooey mac and cheese bites that have been deep fried and dusted with Cheetos powder. What's not to love? It is. You're like smart. You might recognize them by their fluorescent orange coloring, which made them a wonder for the marketing department. In this same span of time, Burger King also released their Cheeto chicken fries, which accompanied their original counterpart for a considerable time before being removed from the menu. If you're in the mood for something outside of the original deep-fried fare, these Mac and Cheetos will be just your speed. Be warned, the Cheetos dust is ever-present and ready to stain the fingers of anyone ready to step in the ring. The Naked Chicken Chalupa Not very sporting, man. At least give the chickens a chance to shoot back! Taco Bell has been criticized in the past for having too many similar items on their menu, with people citing that the amount of ingredients they work with in-house can really only make so many tasty creations. That being said, Taco Bell is quick to silence these rumors by launching some of the wackiest and most delicious fast food menu items of all time. We still cry over the quesarito being a delivery-only option in most areas. And this next item is no different. The Naked Chicken Chicken Chalupa is everything you love about a normal chicken chalupa, but instead of the shell, it's a thin piece of fried chicken. Yes, you heard that right. Taco Bell decided to get into the fried chicken game. Instead of serving it like a normal fast food restaurant, they chose to use it as a delivery vehicle for all the ingredients that people love from Taco Bell. Suffice it to say that the naked chicken chalupa was a bit of a divisive item, but those that were hooked were truly in deep. Fans of the chalupa say that there's nothing like it at any other fast food outlet in the world. The popularity is evident when you realize that it's made three different resurgences in recent years. The Naked Chicken Chalupa should be on your radar almost every time it comes out. If you haven't tried this peculiar Tex-Mex item, you owe it to yourself to see what all the fuss is about. Mick Riddle Egg Bacon American Cheese McDonald's is an absolute giant in the breakfast game. When they say billions served, not all of those were hamburger orders. McDonald's has been serving breakfast since the 1970s, and they have all the staples that you would expect to find on the breakfast table at home. Sausage, eggs, hotcakes, sandwiches, coffee, and everything you need to get your day moving. So it came as a bit of a shock and surprise when McDonald's announced they would be changing their classic breakfast menu by adding something known as the McGriddle. I've been running to something. It seemed unnecessary that McDonald's would be tampering with decades of proven track record in the breakfast department. It's safe to say that the noise died down when people had their first taste. 
The McGriddle is constructed with the customer's choice of sausage or bacon and comes topped with egg and cheese. The real magic comes in the syrup-infused hotcakes that serve as the bread to hold it all together. The McGriddle silenced nearly all of its haters with one fell swoop and is largely responsible for the all-day breakfast campaign that McDonald's has instituted in recent years. It still remains as a top seller for McD's at breakfast time and won't be leaving the menu anytime soon. Doritos Locos Tacos. Tacos? How'd you know? I felt you, dog. Taco Bell creates some of the strangest fast food items that we've ever seen. But this next one only seemed weird when it was announced, and afterwards, it became a top-selling fan favorite. The Doritos Locos Taco is a simple yet imaginative taco. It has all the makings of a regular Taco Bell taco, but with a Dorito shell. There was a time that people scoffed at this idea. It was gratuitous. There was no need to mix Doritos and Taco Bell. They could remain separate without tarnishing the reputation of the other. It just so happens that this is a case of the finished product being greater than the sum of its parts. After a few months on the market, the Doritos Locos Taco garnered undying support. After its initial run, Taco Bell removed it from the menu, but it was made immediately clear that patrons would in fact riot if the taco was not placed back on the menu. It now remains a staple on most Taco Bell menus nationwide. McRib OMG, the McRib is back! What is it that people love about the McRib? Is it the barbecue sauce, the tender rib-shaped meat, or is it the fact that it remains a limited-time exclusive? They do say that absence makes the heart grow fonder. To the outsider, the McRib must look quite strange. There's no way that it could actually be ribs, right? Right. But that isn't the point. It's the idea that makes the sandwich so great. McDonald's knows that the McRib might not be everyone's cup of tea, but they continue to bring it back for the people who can't stand to live without it. It's a little wink from a fast food chain that reminds us we are not forgotten. The McRib stands as a triumph to what a fan can do if they simply make their voice heard. Our collective voice quite literally decides what these fast food conglomerates keep on their menu, and that is a comforting feeling. Even though McD's keeps hinting that this time will be the last time, the McRib will always be there if the demand is. Demanding another great video? Well, then just tap or click and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to join our notification squad.